Hi everyone, my name is Ashray from First Updates Now at the Maryland Tech Invitational. And right now we are here with 7244 Out of the Box Robotics from Pennsylvania. And they have actually been at the MTI all five years that MTI has existed. So hats off to them. And today they're gonna walk us through their robot. I think they're ranked amongst the top five or six right now. Um, yeah, sixth. So they will be walking us through our robot. Giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. We would like to thank our friends at Stryker for supporting fun so we can continue to make content for you. Stryker makes some of the most revolutionary medical equipment and is a big supporter of FIRST and its participants. If you are looking for an internship or a career that supports you being in FIRST, check out careers.stryker.com to learn more. AFTC fans, are you ready for Freight Frenzy? Join us after kickoff live all weekend, September 18th and 19th, as we'll be out at Kettering University for the Bulldogs Robot in 30 Hours at youtube.com forward slash first updates now. You'll get detailed breakdowns of game elements, the field, and prototyping and testing of robot components and assemblies. Watch live, view short videos after, and ask questions for the Kettering team at youtube.com forward slash first updates now. Sam, why don't you start us off? Uh, show us what your robot does and how does the ring travel through your robot? All right, so let's let's start off here. So first, first we got our intake. So this actually folds up into our robot, so we fit within the 18 by 18 parameters, of course, and it drops down. And once we have that happen, it's essentially just a regular intake. We got the Bainbot wheels here. We intake the rings, if if it would do it, you know. There we go. And then there's these little ramps here, 3D printed, and they essentially allow the rings to go horizontal to vertical, or base, basically vertical. And then it goes into our ring elevator. We got omni wheels so that it can go up without you know, getting the wheels all chewed up and stuff. And then the ring goes up to the top of the elevator and goes into our deflect, it hits our deflector and then hops into our hopper which is essentially just our storage unit. And then once it's in the hopper, we have an indexer on a servo. It's a super speed go build a servo. And that, that's just basically what knocks the rings into the shooter wheel. It's a flywheel with two motors. It spins at a pretty fast speed. And then the rings shoot. And we have auto aim basically. So our robot can aim for the high goal without having to turn the robot. It essentially uses vision and odometry to just find the relative location of where the robot is relative to the high goal and shoot without having to move the entire robot. That sounds great. And what about you guys wobble mover? I saw you guys moving around the wobble goal uh, super effectively both during autonomous and end game. So how exactly do you guys do that? Yeah, so our wobble mechanism is essentially um, carbon fiber tubes that are incorporated into a virtual four bar system. And essentially what that means is we have servos attached to chains that allow the arms to drive up. And once they're up, we can pick up the wobble. We, use our, we have our forks that pick up the wobble and then we raise the four bar up and place it over the wall. That looks amazing once again. Uh, and uh, Ishwar, I was wondering if you could talk to us a little bit about the software. Uh, is there anything unique that you guys do in software that helps you guys perform so well on the field? So uh, our vision for the high goal, we use a custom TensorFlow solution. So basically this camera is constantly looking for the high goal. And about every 500 to 600 milliseconds, it's able to see it. And not only see it, but know our exact position on the field relative to the high goal. Um, and what's really nice about it is even if someone's wearing the exact same color shirt as the high goal, it won't get confused. It won't, it will completely ignore its background and just focus in on the high goal. So it's really nice and accurate. Um, and even if we don't see it every time we shoot, we interpolate our position with odometry. So we're always aiming towards the high goal. And even if we get pushed, it'll just adjust to being pushed and still aim into the high goal. So we can sync shots while being pushed, essentially. Got it. And last question, what exactly is this bar and what does zero tolerance mean? So this is the um, intake shield with the associated mustache. Um, in, uh, it, for the starter stack and autonomous, this comes down to prevent us from intaking all four rings at once. It goes down to a height where it just pushes the uh, top rings off and we just grab one at a time. Uh, the robot's name is Zero Tolerance. 
it started as a little bit of a joke because while catting and assembling the drivetrain, we forgot to add tolerance to the standoffs or anything, so it was super hard to assemble. So it kind of became an inside joke. Uh, you know, uh, our mentor has a quote: "Tolerance is a boolean," and we chose not to have any, and so we put zero tolerance on the front of the robot. Very nice. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for the interview, and good luck for the rest of your matches. Thank you for having us. Thanks. We would like to thank our friends at Stryker for supporting this video. Stryker is looking for current and future FIRST alumni to join their internship program and FIRST mentors who are looking for a great career with a company who actually supports their FIRST journey. Go to careers.stryker.com to learn more. You can also directly support FUN by joining FUN Nation. Click the join button and just for a few bucks a month, you'll unlock special perks and directly support us so we can keep making great content. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.